Greetings friends, it's me John Ross and I have another fun-filled science activity for you today. In today's activity, we're going to be focusing on natural processes. And in the state of South Carolina, natural processes pops up within our state standards in third and fifth grade. Specifically today though, we're going to be examining chemical weathering. And chemical weathering is a process that is considered destructive because that chemical weathering breaks rocks down into smaller pieces. And I like to begin teaching my students about chemical weathering by taking them on a little bit of a picture walk. So I show them a picture of a rock over here and we talk about how oxidation, for example, impacted that rock there. Then we show them a picture of a rock over here and we talk about carbonation and how carbonation impacted that rock. Then the final process I like to talk about is acid rain. Now you might be wondering, what is acid rain? Well, acid rain, of course, is rain that is slightly acidic. Well, why? Well, mankind is largely why. Because mankind in all of our splendor, of course, we embraced technology about 150, 200 years ago. And during that time, we started pumping gases in pollution up into our atmosphere during the Industrial Revolution. And so with all those gases and that pollution being pumped up, 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 up into our atmosphere, the gases and the pollution were mingling and a mixing with the water in the air. Now, back to our activity itself. After I've talked about oxidation, carbonation, and acid rain, I like to provide my students with a piece of chalk. And now this chalk, I tell them, represents Cleopatra's needle. Cleopatra's needle, and there are actually three of them, were found about 150 to 200 years ago in the deserts of Egypt. Now, those needles, the hieroglyphics found upon them were perfectly preserved, perfectly preserved for over a thousand years. And then when mankind unearthed them, and we shipped them, three of them now, one to London, England, a second one to Paris, France, and then a third one to New York City, they were exposed for the first time in centuries to the elements. And one of those things that they were exposed to was acid rain. Now, enough backstory, let's get back to our needle. I like to give my students their piece of chalk, and then I give them a paper clip. I say go ahead and take that paper clip and bend it and manipulate it so that you basically turn it into a tool to etch whatever your students so choose. They can etch their initials, their birthday, a heart, really, it's whatever they want. Now, for time's sake, I'm gonna just go ahead and etch my initials. That's J and R. JR for John Ross. Now, now that I have my needle ready to go, I introduce or give to my students a cup of vinegar and a dropper. And they take that dropper and they make it rain. And slowly, over the course of years, in years, the acid rain starts to break down our Cleopatra's needle. Eventually, the hieroglyphics that were etched on by hand over a thousand years ago will no longer be visible. And as time continues, Eventually, there will likely be nothing left of Cleopatra's needle at all due to the low level of acidity within the uh, rain. There you have it. So friends, the wonderful thing about this activity 
is that it takes what is often considered the abstract and it makes it real and it makes it concrete for your students. Allowing them to see how acid rain destroyed a beautiful monument. Thank you very much and I look forward to seeing you next time. Ta-ta for now.